Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some multiplication ones column by tens column. So, as you can see here, we got some examples. We got some easy ones, we got some hard ones. We're going to be trying to conquer both of them. So, starting off with the easy ones, forty by four by sixty. So, you got sixty. And then you got four. So as you can see, I'll put 60 in the first row. And I'll put four in the second row. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going, I'm going to be timesing. That's X, which means times. I'm going to be timesing zero by four first. Because zero is the first number, as we can see right there so zero times four as we know is zero four times six as we know is 24 so zero zero times four is zero and then six times four makes 24 and that's how we get the answer 240 right for the second easy one, we're going to be doing it first column and second column. First row, second row. So, 70 for the first row and 8 for the second row. And we also need to have the time symbol to remind us that we're doing multiplication. Right, so, the first digit, 0 times by 8. So 0 times by 8, as we know, anything times 0 is 0. And 7 times 8, as we know, is 56. So we got 0 and we got 56. And that's how we get the answer 560 for the question 70 times 8. Now, moving on to the hard ones where we get some numbers underneath over here and over here we get some numbers which we have to add and i'll show you how that works right now so so we got for the hard ones we got 58 times four so first row second row so the first number times by four which is 32 and this is what i was talking about Basically, we got the number 32 from times inc. 8 and 4. We get 32. We know this is the 1's column and this is the 10's column. So we put the 1's column in here, in the bar over here. And then we put the 3 underneath, under this 10's column here, underneath, just there. So we do this so we can add this number 3 to whatever this number times by the tens column is so 4 times 5 4 times 5 is 20 so we add 20 to 3 which is 23 so we just jot 23 right into there and that's how we get our answer 232 which is from 8 times 4 which is 32 and then 4 times 5 which is 20 add this 3 which is 23 we're going to do our second hard one so for the second hard one we're going to move to a new piece of paper the second hard one is 76 times 8 so 70 6 times 8. So, as we know, our first row and our second row. So, 76 times by 8. So, as we know, 1's column times by this number. So, 6 times 8, we know is 48. 48. As you know, we put the 10's column underneath. So, 40. And then 1's column here, 8. And then we do for 8 times 8 times 7, which is 
56. And as we know, we have to add the 4 to 56, which gets an answer of 60. So we just put 60 right into there as we did for the other questions. Hope you enjoyed this session. I will do tens by tens in the next video. So tens column by tens column in the next video. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.